Let's look at what the Justice Department said, which was releasing this memo to the public would be, quote, extraordinarily reckless, but that isn't deterring the president. Do you see this as yet another attempt to try to disrupt the special counsel's investigation? And could that lead down the road to obstruction? So absolutely. I mean, I think this is part of a broader pattern here um, between the president and his um, allies in Congress to try and smear um, Mueller and, and the special prosecutor's investigation in ways that are really political and dangerous. I mean, the whole point of this memo, as I understand it, is it contains classified information. Classified information is beyond law enforcement sensitive. Even people within the Department of Justice and the FBI have to have special clearance in order to view classified information. So the idea that they would release this memo to the public without even giving the source, namely the Department of Justice, an opportunity to review it and determine what could, what fallout could come from that that might be potentially dangerous is, is really, you know, I think part of this broader pattern here of, of smearing the Department of Justice and the FBI in ways to try and benefit the president you know, personally and politically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mimi, I have to ask you also, though, the source of this memo, it's written by staff members of a conservative House Republican who happens to be the chair of the House Intelligence Committee uh, from California, Devin Nunes. So is it, is it your understanding that it's normal for staff members to have access to classified information like that, to pour it over, to write up their summarization, quote parts of it, whatever it's going to be? I mean, I've not seen the memo, but would that be normal? Well, I mean, I, as I understand it, they did get some kind of clearance for certain members of the House committee to review the memo. Whether those actual, the individual staffers who wrote the memo got clearance, I don't know. Because you can be given clearance for on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, so I'm assuming, though I, I don't know, that they did have mm. some kind of clearance to review it. It's the writing the memo and then wanting to release the memo as a substitute, mm -hmm. you know, for for people who don't have clearance seeing the classified information. That's what's dangerous. And, you know, the attacks on the FBI, the Department of Justice, as a way to try and discredit this investigation, you know, really presents, I think, a threat to law enforcement and the job that law enforcement needs to do um, with respect to all sorts of, you know, important cases that are important to the American public, like terrorism, gang violence, child sexual exploitation. Right. Can, can you explain also something? Because the Washington Post reports that the president just does not understand why he cannot simply give orders to, quote, my guys, and what he sometimes calls the, quote, Trump Justice Department. Can you explain that for us and to the president as well, why this is so, why he can't just simply give orders and have them follow it? Well, I mean, it is the Trump Justice Department in the sense that ultimately the attorney general, you know, who's the head of the Justice Department, um, is appointed by the president and reports to the president. But there is a tradition, and, and the word tradition may not even do it justice, of independence of the Department of Justice from the executive, from the president. Um, and there, there are important reasons for that. And, um, you know, like I said, I think that the American public should really want their Department of Justice to function independently without meddling from the president. And it really, at the end of the day, helps keep us safer to have mm. people believe in the integrity of the Department of Justice and the FBI and to allow it to function independently from the president. Yeah. We've heard the story about uh, the president wanting to fire Bob Mueller back in June of last year. His counsel, Bob McCann, said, nope, can't do it. And if you do it, I'm going to quit. Um, what is his responsibility, McGann's I'm talking about, as an attorney to inform the Justice Department of this order? Well, I mean, his client is technically not, you know, the president as an individual. Um, his client is the um, office of the presidency and he like everyone in the department of justice as we've been discussing you know mcgahn takes an oath to the constitution not to donald trump mm -hmm. and so i think that you know he does have an obligation um, at some point to inform uh, people of this uh, order if, if that's what it was which it sounds from the reporting like it was 
And, you know, he has already been interviewed by Mueller. So mm -hmm. I'm sure this was not news to Mueller, um, you know, that, that McGahn received this order. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.